Did you know that you can easily create accessible online forms for all of your users, including those with disabilities? Well, let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently at the landing page for accessible forms at jotform.com. Now, we're gonna cover almost everything in this landing page. If you have any additional questions, be sure to come back to this page for more information. Now, like I mentioned, if you're wanting to create accessible online forms for every single one of your users, Jotform has you covered. So let's go ahead and scroll down. One thing that I wanna point out is that it's really simple to turn on, and I'm gonna walk you through how to do that, but it's also WCAG and Section 508 compliant, which is great. Now, if you don't want to start from scratch, there's also some templates that you can utilize coming right down here. But I already have a form that's ready to go for us to test out, so I'm gonna head back up to the top and let's go to my forms. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that very top form that says accessibility. Let's edit that form. Next, we're gonna head up to the settings button, which is the top middle button. Then we're gonna show more options and we're going to scroll down until we get to that form accessibility, which is right here. So as you can see right now, it's currently disabled. So let's go ahead and choose it to be enabled. And let's go ahead and show that accessibility badge on the form. Now, as you can see, there's this red text that says three accessibility problems found on my form. So if we jump back over to the build side, we get to see what is causing these red flags? So the first one says accessibility warning, your form must include a submit button. Please add a submit button. So if we click on that, it's gonna automatically add it for us. Now the second one right here, it says accessibility warning, all form questions should have a label. So if we click on this, it's gonna ask us to go ahead and put a label up here. We're gonna go ahead and name that name. And then last, your form's color contrast isn't good for web accessibility. Please change your color palette. So if we click on this, it's going to open up our form designer and you can see under form scheme, we can see which one of these are accessible for all of our users. So we can go ahead and choose any of these. Perfect. Now, if at any point we come down here and we're going to change that color, we get that warning again saying it's not going to be accessible for everyone. So let's go ahead and change that back. Perfect. And as you can see down here at the bottom, we do have that badge saying that it is an accessibility enabled form. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about ensuring your forms are accessible to everyone, be sure to let us know down below in the comments. And don't forget to go back and check out that landing page for accessible forms for even more information. Now, if you like this video and you got some value, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.